In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the link color in WordPress. This is super helpful for many reasons. First, you want people to know what links are on your site so they can read more on your website or any other links that you're sending them to. If you're selling something on your site, then you want them to be able to see the links that you're showcasing if you're not using a button. This is also really helpful. One of my favorite parts is to be able to send people to your affiliate links. So if you have affiliate links and you earn a commission off of those links, you want to make sure that people can see that those are links on your site. And so changing the color is very helpful. And I'll show you how you can do that. And we'll show you a few different ways so that you can pick the one that works best for you. So let's dive in. So as an example, this is my site and we see here's a link here and we'll get into why this is a different color here in a second. And then you scroll down and then these are the links. Most themes will have a particular color for your link. And there's three different areas that you want to look at for the link color but all themes will have it. You just might want to change it to match, say your brand color, or maybe your logo color, what have you. And in this case, when it's just sitting here, this is called a link. So it's an active link. When I hover over it, it changes. It might change in your case, it might not, but that's another color or another effect that you can have on the link. And then many times when people click on the link and then they come back, then it might be another color showcasing that it's been a visited link. And that's usually purple. And in my case, it doesn't change, but yours might do that. So let's walk through the three areas that you can change and the colors that you can do to that. So we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to appearance and we want to hit customize. We are going to be using a little bit of code. Don't worry, I have a link in the description below to have the code that you'll need so that you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. And if you still don't want to deal with code, don't worry, the next method will work for you perfectly. So down here at the bottom, depending on the theme that you have on your site, you might see different things up here, but everyone should see an additional CSS link down here. And this is where we can add additional bits of code. I'm also going to click on my blog so I can actually see the links. As we're making changes, you'll be able to see it immediately. So the First code that I'm going to do is I'm going to do just the active link. So that will change. And you see, as soon as I put in the A for active, and then this color, which is an orange color, then it automatically changes. You can play around with these, what's called hex codes, to change it to whatever color you want. And don't worry, if you don't know what color you want, a really good resource is Adobe Color Wheel. I think they've changed it to just color.adobe.com. And from here, you can review what color schemes you want. If you don't know the color that you want, you can come in here and explore or create your own. You can also look at trends. So if you're not sure what the color scheme you want, you can look and see what looks good to you. When you find something that you like, you can click on it and then you can copy these colors here. So once you click copy, then that's the color. Let's show you what this looks like. I'm going to copy this one. We'll go back to the customizer and instead of this orange, I'm going to control V and paste it in there. Once I do that, then you see my color has changed. It's a really good resource if you're wanting to add your own. Most people already know their brand and they'll already know their color scheme, so they can do that as well. The second area that we want to do is we want to change the way that the hover or when I hover over it, what it does. So I'm going to come down here. Again, the code will be in the written tutorial in the description below, but I'm going to paste this amount in here and let's just talk about this real quick. So this means the link, so the active link on hover. So when I hover over it, what is it going to do? Right now I've got this color and it already does text underline, but when I hover over it, what does it do now? So it changes to that red color. And what we can actually also do is because it already is underlined, let's say none. And so you see when I hover over it, it removes the underline. Now the third area that you can look at is once they've already visited a site, what color do you want it to be? And so then we'll have just a slightly different version of that as well. So I'm going to bring the code over here and paste it in. So again, it's for an active link visited. So once they visited, what are we going to change the color to? 
and I've gone to these two and so now you see that the color is different. Now you see as I scroll back up here we talked about this earlier you see how this is actually quite different it's doing that as well for these colors but maybe you don't want that to happen on all the links on your site. Now if you don't want the links to change everywhere on your site maybe you just want the links to change within your post or a page and I'm going to show you this bit of code that you can add as well. So I'm going to paste this in here and I'm going to remove all of this. Similar information but all it's doing is only going to affect the entry content which for WordPress is a post or a page so these items will be different. And so now when I scroll just these items will be different and then when I scroll back up this will not be changed. So you just want to do entry content in front of all of that and then it will just happen on their content inside the post or page. So let's click publish and now that will be on the site no matter what we do. Now say you went through and you figured out the link colors, you figured out everything and you want to keep this even if you change themes. I'll show you how you can do this by using a plugin that'll hold all this content and it even if you change a theme then it'll still have this. I'm going to copy this to make sure I keep it and I'm actually going to remove this because I'm going to add it somewhere else. If you already have it there then don't worry. The next plugin that you can use if you want to change things but keep your code is by using something called Simple Custom CSS and JS. So let's go to plugins, add new and we want to search for Simple Custom CSS and JS. This is the plugin we want so let's go ahead and install this and then you want to stick around to activate it as well. Great now that's activated we can come over to the left and say custom CSS. So let's add custom CSS here and we can name it link color and they give us a little bit of information here if we want. You can remove that or you can just start below it. I'm going to remove this and then I want to add that bit of code that I had. And we can keep everything over here the same and then let's just click publish. So now when I go to my site and refresh it it should still have all of those changes here like I want. Which is perfect. Now what if you just do not want to touch or mess with any kind of CSS or editing or knowing any code. I get that and that's why this method will be for you. The method I'm going to use is also using a plugin but it's called CSS Hero and it does a fantastic job of kind of letting you see what you want to change and then changing it on the back end so you don't have to know any code. So you want to, it is a premium plugin so you'll want to download that. We can go to CSS Hero. Once you purchase it you can log in and then you can download the plugin and then we'll head back over. Let's go to plugins, add new. From here we're actually going to upload the plugin instead. You need to choose file and let's install it now. And once it installs we'll also want to activate it as well. Once it's activated now we have this big button proceed to product activation. It'll go out and ask you for your username and password and then you can get the license so it'll give you the license for that website. So let's do that. Everything is activated now we can make our adjustments. So let's show you what this looks like. So now that we have it we can go to the front end. I'm going to refresh everything. So now we have this button here. I'm going to go ahead and click that and it'll start to activate everything. So everything that I see I can make these changes. So now I can scroll down to where my links are and the changes that I want to make. I can click on the link and come over to typography and now I can click on this and the great thing about this is I don't have to know what hex code I need to use. I simply Go up and down this line and find whatever colors I think are good and you see as I'm making the changes they change on the link so I can see which ones I like, which ones I might not want to use. Okay so I'm going to just pick something really obvious so for that that's what I'm going to use and what's great about it is it'll bring the, all that code down so I don't have to know the code, I don't have to write the code but then I can see it in action. So we have active. Now you see we have our hover so we want to change that. In order to do that we can come up here under normal and change hover. So now we're changing our hover status. I can come over here 
Let's do something else that's really obvious. And let me go ahead and submit that. And once that does, then I can come over and look at this as well. And then the final one we want to work on is the visited. So once they visit the site, what color do I want it to be? We can change that as well. And I'm going to make it obvious. And so when I click on any of those, then that will be active as well. Once you make any of your changes, you can click save down here. And then when you go to your website and hit refresh, then you'll see those changes in action. So now I've got my active, I've got my hover, and then the green is because I've already visited that site. And what's cool about CSS Hero is you see there all of these changes. Anywhere that I'm hovering, you can change the navigation links as well. It can do so much more, but we won't get into all the details of it if it's something that's important for you. With CSS Hero, you can change pretty much everything on your site with not having to worry about any code. And if you want to dig in a little bit more into CSS Hero, you can watch this video next as I cover how to install and use CSS Hero for your website. And I'll see you over there.